Hi everyone, Kathy here with Buffalo Tech Chicks. Today I have a Goodwill haul and I want to show you a few things I've been working on. I actually did get my fall things put up. Um, the living room, the dining room, a few things in the kitchen. And it looks really good, but I'm not doing a um, fall tour right now. I'll probably do that next Friday. So I did get it done and it looks pretty good. I didn't want to overdo it, but it looks good. So I want to show you a few things I've been working on also. Um, this year I'm going to be doing a different theme for my Christmas table, my tablescape, and I have those um, tree plates that I found at Goodwill a few weeks ago. So I'm going with a Christmas tree theme in um, pine and whatever, um, more like, not woodsy, but kind of woodsy. So I had a bunch of these little wreath, um, grapevine wreath little circles, grapevine wreaths. I had a whole bag of those and I've had those for so long and I've made several different projects out of them and I found this big bag of them at Goodwill a few years back. So anyway, I needed a new, some new um, napkin holders, napkin rings. So what I did with this is I just added some little berries and the, um, th this is from Dollar Tree. It has like a little gold on it, the pine. I just cut little pieces and I just hot glued them all around. And I thought those came out really pretty and that'd be really pretty with a tree, tree tablescape. So I made six of those. And let's see what else I've been working on. Um, I'll show you that after. Let me get to the haul. I finally found my blue and white plates. I couldn't believe when I walked into Goodwill, there was two big sets of like all these blue, blue and white plates and I couldn't get all of them. I just got eight of the dinner plates. And I love, it's a um, grist mill. And what's funny, I think because there was two different um, sets of these, they had the little teacups, they had the saucers, they had bowls, they had the smaller salad plates. So many. I'm like, I can't, I don't have a place to put them. And it would, and they were selling them all separately. So, um, and these were $1.98 each. I'm going to put my glasses because I want to show you guys something. Hold up. All right, so... These ones say Courier and Ives, the old grist mill made in the USA by Royal. And then, I don't know if this is the same. Okay, that's the same. I think it's the same brand, but I don't know if it's a different, different, um, okay. Maybe a different year. But, okay, so look at this one. This one is the same picture. And on the back, it says Courier and Ives Royal China Royal Ironstone. So I don't know if they're basically the same. It's the same maker. Courier and Ives, made in USA, detergent-proof, oven-proof, dishwasher safe. Maybe these are newer, older, I don't know. But anyway, it was the same. But one says ironstone, and this one doesn't say ironstone. It just says Curry and Ives Old Grist Mill by Royal. Well, this one's by Royal. So maybe they're both ironstone. I'm not sure, but anyway, I love the I love the print on that, the old grist mill. So I just picked up eight plates. So it's excited about that. Sorry. Okay, so then also what I picked up, and I thought these were different. They look a little bit more high-end. I don't, honestly don't know if this is a squash or a gourd, but there's a smaller one. And they're pretty heavy. I don't know what they're made out of. It sounds like ceramic. I thought those were so pretty. Pretty good for fall. And this... This here, I tried scanning it and it, nothing comes up. Um, 
speckled gourd. It says it's a gourd. Okay. Small. Um, this tag on here, I'll take off the Goodwill one. The tag on here is a tag I've never seen before. And look at those prices. $24, $60, 39 <laughs> Anyway, it must have come from some high-end store. I don't know, but I end up paying $5.98, which that was enough for me. <laughs> I thought that would be pretty for fall. Maybe I'll put this on um, my hutch. And this one, that's a lot bigger. <laughs> um, it's pretty. But this one was $7.98. And that, I don't know what the sticker was on there, the original sticker, but there's no markings or anything. It's ceramic. All right, so I thought that would be something different. And then, hold up. I got stuff everywhere, guys. And I picked up this one. It must be a theme here with these cords. But I thought this was really pretty. It looks like that mercury glass. Has silver leaves on top, and this was three ninety eight. It's also a good size, and it lights up. Really pretty. See if this is too bright. Not pretty. It's mercury glass with the little light fairy lights in there. I love that one. I shut it off. I saved my batteries. And then I found this cute little guy from for Halloween. And he lights up. Isn't he cute? <laughs> and I took the price off. I think that was a dollar ninety-eight. I know some of you don't do Halloween, but I don't do scary things. I, I like kind of cute, a little tiny bit scary, but mostly cute and whimsical. Um, oh, speaking of these little gourd thingies, I got this one. I figured it would go good with the other two. It's a whole family of them. And that was one ninety eight, and that's glass. It's probably a Dollar Tree item. I don't know, but it's pretty. Okay, and then I picked up this. I love these little self yeah shelf sitters with the little button legs. For the, not buttons, they're um, threaded, those wood thread things for, from the thread. <laughs> spools of thread, spools, that's what they are. All right, so yeah, I thought this was cute. I think this was $2.98. I took the tag off of that too. I just love me some scarecrows. They're too cute. And this one, this one was brand new. It still had the tag on it. And it says Autumn. Hello, Autumn. <laughs> and that was $1.98. I already had that hanging on my wall. So everything you see, see in these halls recently will be in my house somewhere when we do the, um, when I do my, my fall tour. All right, what else do I have here? This, absolutely love it. This must have come from Home Goods or maybe Marshalls. But the size, the quality is excellent. Nothing's wrong with her, no chips, no breaks. Super cute. Had to get her. She was four ninety eight. She's tall. A good foot, foot or so tall. Yeah, four ninety eight. It doesn't say where, where it was originally from, but look at this little stick with a pumpkin head on it. And even the one on the back here. So I had to get that. Then this is not fall related, but I don't have a whole lot of bee things. And this is like a cute little creamer. I didn't open it, it's still taped down, but it's a bee creamer. 
It's like a little hive or a bee scout. It's 298 and that will go with my bee things in my hutch. So I thought that was cute. And this is perfect for fall. This is, I think it's like an, yeah, it's apple pie. Isn't it cute? And that's glass or ceramic. I'm not sure which one. That was $2.98. And I'm going to put that in my little wooden thing with the cloach, cloach on top of it. I love that. So, yes, you'll see all this stuff in my home shortly. And this is kind of a hot mess, but I know I can fix her up. And I have one like this that is a boy one that I got years ago at Goodwill, and I still have him. So I figured he was a little lonely, so I found him a girlfriend. <laughs> Look at how big this is. <laughs> and she is a hot mess because she needs a new hairdo and some new glue and the hat's coming off and all this but I know that I could fix her up but look at how cute she just needs some hot glue and she'll be standing out there with her boyfriend by the fireplace <laughs> so I had to get her I had to bring her home I don't know what's up with the nose maybe I could fix that too there's some black stuff on there but other than that, this is kind of hanging off, but I can fix it. Other than that, it's in good shape. And that was five, five ninety eight. So I had to take her home. I'll be working on her today, get her all fixed up. And this is a metal haunted house. I love it. Good size, good quality. Can't have too many haunted houses, and you can put a candle in here. Which I have one. Let's check it out. There we go. Haunted house. Have some windows and some bat on the top, and it's hollow inside. Paid two ninety eight. So. I thought that was a good deal. And then I found these. Um, I might put these in my, my bedroom. But I thought these were really pretty. I paid $4.98 for the three of them. And it's metal. It is metal. And they're thin. They're light. I thought they were really pretty. That would be cute over a bed in a bedroom or maybe over my bureau. So, I love that. And then I picked up a basket. I like the material. I forget if this is that hydrangea grass or something kind of... Some kind of grass. What is this? Okay, that doesn't go with it. Alright, and that was two two ninety eight. It has a little handle in the front here. You can put pumpkins in there or a lot of things. So I picked that up. And what else? I think that's it, guys. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> so next week will be my um, my fall tour. Don't forget to check that out. Um, I've been working on these, actually. These are uh, three... I bought these last year from Five Below. And it is a stacked, three stacked pumpkins like on top of each other. And they go like that. I'm going to glue them down. But I don't know. Let me grab the other one to show you what it looks like. After one year, I'll be right back. So I got these last year, and they're the three stack pumpkins, and I kind of decorated it a little bit. But with it being outside for fall season, it got really, um, can't really tell on here, it looks pretty good actually, but it got really faded. So I decided to paint them the darker 
orange and I put a copper paint on the top. And so I'm gonna do that same thing to this one and see if that will last better outside in the heat. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna glue them together and decorate them. So yeah, um, I don't know if I showed you guys this. I, another thing I've been working on and I started taking ceramic class here in the park. I live in a 55 plus community park and I started taking a ceramics class and this is my first completed project. Sandcastle. You can put the little light in there and you can light up like a little lighthouse. I love how it came out and it was fun to do so I'm going to continue. The next project I'm working on is um, some pumpkins. They're like three stacked pumpkins but it's different than that one. So and what I want to do is get the, um, the ceramic Christmas tree that is from way back, the vintage looking Christmas tree. I want to do one of those with the little lights you put in them and so that's what I want to do for Christmas. So, All right guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps our channel out and don't forget to watch next week. We, I'll be doing my fall tour. Thank you all for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.